in this question two disc having uniform charge density sigma 1 and sigma 2 respectively are placed parallel to each other with their axis coinciding as one flux of the electric field linked with this one is phi 1 so flux linked with this area is phi 1 and flux of the electric field linked with this 2 so flux linked with this area this circular area is phi 2 and obviously this flux which is linked with this area is due to electric field of this disc and uh, the flux linked with this one is due to electric field of this disc so we have to select uh, the suitable options relating phi 1 phi 2 and sigma 1 and sigma 2 okay so let's see how to do this so these are the two discs uh, this disc and this disc are parallel and uh, uh, their axis is same so from the symmetry of this situation uh, i can say that force on this disc due to this number two and force on this disc due to this number one so we can say the direction of force will be something like this so force on this disc by symmetry i can say that force on this disc is along the axis something like this and the force on this disc is also like this okay so net force on this disc due to this number two is like this so i can uh, write these forces like uh, this forces can be written as force on disc number one due to disc number two and this is force on disc number two due to disc number one and from action reaction obviously these two forces are equal in magnitude f12 is equal to f21 okay so these are the net forces on each disc due to other disc now if we take some element on this disc okay so let us take some element on the disc and let's show uh, how the forces are acting on a smaller small elements so on this small element for is acting something like this suppose this is i am taking a very small element area and suppose this area is da so on this da element uh, force electric field due to uh, this disc is something like this so this is a direction of electric field and uh, uh, this is a direction of force also so force i can write this force is uh, something df okay so on this small area force is df and df is equal to uh, the charge density multiplied by the area multiplied by electric field so electric field due to disc number two okay so this is electric field due to disc number two and multiplied by the charge charge i can write sigma one into da da is this area okay so this is the area da this element has area da and what is the direction of area vector normal normal will be along the axis so i can say this is the direction of area vector here let's say this angle is theta suppose this angle is theta so this is the force on this element and a similar element a similar looking element if i take uh, uh, here so this element is very similar to this element and force will be something like that on this element okay so the same df will be acting on this element like this and uh, this angle is again going to be theta okay so i can say that uh, these components these components uh, along the disc will be cancelled okay and that component perpendicular to the disc or you can say along the axis will be added so the net force on this disc is uh, addition of these components okay so i can add these components to find the net force so let's find the resultant of these components so this f12 we are calculating f12 and this is integration of this df cos theta and what is the value of df df is electric field multiplied by the charge into cos theta okay and from here you can just take out sigma 1 and this is e2 da cos theta and what is integral e2 da cos theta this is basically this e2 da cos theta integral this is basically the flux flux through this circular area of disc due to electric field of this disc so this flux is denoted by phi 1 okay so let's see uh, here it is denoted by phi 1 flux of electric field linked with disc 1 is phi 1 okay so i will write this as phi 1 so it is simply sigma 1 into phi 1 and uh, the, in the similar fashion i can calculate force on disc number 2 due to 1 and this will come out as sigma 2 phi 2 uh, with the similar calculation and since these two are action reaction pairs okay so these are action reaction pair so this forces must be equal in magnitude so now i can write sigma 1 phi 1 this would be equal to sigma 2 phi 2 okay so this is the relation and sigma 1 by sigma 2 this is equal to phi 2 by phi 1 so let's see what are the correct options here okay 
so sigma 1 by sigma 2 this is 5 2 by 5 1 so this is b is correct and also you can say d is also correct for an any set of values of sigma 1 sigma 2 the relation sigma 1 phi 1 is equal to sigma 2 phi 2 is always true okay so whatever be the values of sigma 1 sigma 2 this relation is always true so these are the answers